Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the Browie Power Station right here. Now this is a Best Buy on Amazon right now, so I figured I'd bring it to you guys. I do a lot of solar generators. I do a lot of power station videos. This is an all-in-one. So here's what I mean. So you've got your typical power station where you've got all the ports you need, and I'll go over all these ports today. And it also has this little kickstand. Well, why does it have a kickstand? Well, because it has a built-in solar panel. This is a 30-watt solar panel built-in that will recharge the unit. Guys, if you really want to go off-grid or you just want to bring something with you maybe on the beach or when you're out camping, this is a great solution because it has real plugs. It's even got car plugs. It's got USB-C. It's got a couple USB-A ports all built into this. So you can literally charge up anything while you're out there. I love it. It comes with all kinds of extra cords as well, and I'll show you all that in today's video. But guys, a solar generator, power station, built in together. I love it. We'll go over all the features in today's video. Let's go. All right, so let's get right into this. I fully charged this. I put this out um, at the edge of my driveway for a few hours and I was able to completely charge this. So this guy's completely charged. So let me show you really fast here the panel. So let's get a close up of the panel really quick. So your first display will show the indicator on how much battery you have. And as you can tell, it's 100%. If you open up that little flap, you're gonna see a USB-C out. You're also going to see a 65 watt and an 18 watt USB-A port so you could rapid charge your devices as well. Right below that, you're gonna see an input and two outputs uh, for different types of things where you could actually put another solar panel on here um, and charge other devices like my e-bikes. And then below that, you have an AC and a DC port. So your regular plug, it is a three prong, 110 volt, 600 watt port right there for your AC. And then your DC is a car outlet I love that it has all of those ports. It's really nice to have all those because with any power station, you really want to have it. Would I like more ports? Absolutely, but you can't have everything. At this price point, I was actually quite surprised. On the back here, you will see that it does have a nice kickstand, is adjustable kickstand. So if you wanted it at this angle or you want it at this angle, whatever angle the sun is at, because that's the whole idea for this, is that you have this solar panel. I mentioned in the intro, it's a 30 watt solar panel. So it could actually charge this unit up pretty darn quick. And I don't know the exact numbers, but I will put the specs in the link down in the description section for this item, this exact item. I'll put links to this on Amazon. Um, you can also get it directly from their website. So that's two options for you to purchase this. And I'll put both links in again down in the description section and I'll even put it in the comments so it's easier to find. Uh, but I absolutely Love the functionality of this, the portability of this, not having to worry about finding an outlet to plug it in to recharge it. You just need the sun. So if you really want to be off grid, this is a good option. So what comes with the Browie power station? Well, obviously the unit itself, which pretty much is all you need. But if you do want to charge it up a little bit faster, it does come with an AC power supply. So you do have an actual power supply to recharge this. If you want to charge it up really fast, that's an option. I will tell you, I actually set up a Wi-Fi system out there uh, while I was camping and I plugged it into here. So I had power to my router and I was able to get uh, full internet while camping, which, I mean, who does that, right? Who wants to do that? Me, I'm the only one, because I like to stream and I wanted to stream my Fire TV stick. Had a TV hooked up here, had Wi-Fi, everything, which is pretty cool. So here's some extra cords here to charge it up with another solar panel. Of course, you've got your car, uh, so you can actually charge it up with your car kind of neat here um, and then you've got all these extra little cords uh, little adapters for different things depending on the type of solar panel that you have it looks like and then you've got your manuals in here as well a little thank you letter um, all kinds of stuff here so here's your manual right there so if you are a techie and you want to learn all about this unit you do have your manual and it is um, the orange version they do make a green version as well um, and in their manual, they actually show other solar panels connecting to it. If you wanna just get a faster recharge, you certainly can do that, which I really, really like. So that's what comes with it. You do get those cords, you do get those adapters, and you do get the unit itself. So let's go ahead and put it in the sun and we'll see how much charge you actually get. Again, this is a 30 watt solar panel. So are you actually accumulating 30 watts while it's directly in the sun? Let me go put it in the sun, we'll take a look. 
All right, so I got the solar panel here facing the sun directly. So I wanna to try to get as much of that sun into this panel to charge it. And while it's charging, I have, as you can tell right here, my e-bike, the VeloWave Swift mid-drive e-bike that is charging. So I'm charging my e-bike. Cause when I go camping and I bring something like this, I wanna recharge my e-bike. I want my e-bike to last while I'm camping for a week or two weeks at a time without having to worry about finding outlets. Something like this gives you that ability. So it is charging right now. It's plugged in. So let's look at the panel and see how much we're gaining on juice and how much we are losing by charging the bike right here. Let's look at that. All right, so let's get a close-up look at this panel here. And I don't know if you can see it in the bright light, but I'll just tell you, I'm getting 28 watts right now on charge with this directly into the sun. So 28 watts of charge, and I'm expelling, it looks like 105 watts. So this bike is pulling 105 watts from the unit, but I am gaining 28 watts while it is charging. So it can actually charge while it's being used, which I think is pretty darn cool. So this is something I'm definitely bringing on my next camping trip. All right, so that was just one example of something that you could charge with your power station while you're out there camping. Now, obviously, having these extra ports on here, you could charge your iPad, your phone, like I mentioned earlier, a router, something like that, or a TV even to watch movies while you're out there. Have lights, you could put in a, uh, you know, one of those blocks with like six or seven plugs and plug it into here, and now you have extra plugs. This thing can handle it. Um, and I'll put all the specs to this down in the description section of this video for those techies that want to know every little detail about this unit here. But this is a solar generator, so it recharges itself with solar power, but it's a power station because it has all these plugs. I really like it, guys. I'm going to be using this for sure when I'm out camping, and I'll just leave it with the panels open at all times towards the sun. Hopefully we have some nice weather while we're camping, and I can recharge all my devices, my e-bikes, my camera equipment, my phones, all of that with something like this. And this is very affordable. When you click the link, it'll take you right to this item. You won't believe the price of it. When I first saw it, I said, I gotta buy it. And there's a reason why it's a bestseller on Amazon. It's because the price is crazy good for what you get. And I love the built-in solar panel. I have reviewed a few other power stations that had separate solar panels that you could plug in, but I've never had one that worked this well. So I'm super impressed with it. Again, this is by Browie, check it out. Hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a quick one. Thanks again, everybody. Bye.